Well, hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping in and for joining me on these little chit chats that I post throughout the week. It is a pleasure having you in your company. But I have a question for you. When is it okay to treat someone a certain way and call it tough love? Question mark. When? Let's quickly get into that topic, but first, the sponsor of this video, my brand new book, The Hush Language Mental Health Journal Youth Edition, right behind me. Go to my website and check it out. The link will be down below in the description box and as a pinned comment. Check your girl out. Use code YAY10 for 10% of your purchase. That's yay10 YAY10. And yes, that is my dog in the background. But... Tough love. This video is about tough love. Why do people treat you a certain way and call it tough love? Because last time I checked, tough love is not supposed to mentally impact you in a negative way. Hmm. Tough love. You ever had, okay, let's talk about a couple of um, scenarios, right? So scenario one. Um... You're a child, right? And either one of your parents or both may treat you a certain way or say certain things to you or do certain things to you or whoop your tail or etc. and call it tough love and say that you gotta learn. Now, I'm not opposed to um, spankings necessarily meaning you know um I grew up on whoopings and that's a whole different story but um I'm not a hundred percent opposed to them but I'm also um I also wouldn't say that it's okay to just beat your child just whoop your child for every single thing I think it's unnecessary but at the same time you know you do have people who do it and call it tough love Okay, scenario number two, let's, let's say it's a friendship or a close-knit relationship who may be treating you a certain way or say certain things to you um, that may affect you or, um, you know, just put you in that space and they call it tough love. Let's talk about one of my scenarios, okay? I know I'm jumping from here, but... I just thought about it. One of my scenarios. So I was working, 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 working so hard. I had three jobs. I think I was working at a McDonald's. I was working at a Sears in the mall. And then I was also um, working at a Home Depot. Now I can say those places because I am currently not there in those places anymore. But I was working all three of those jobs at the same time, all the way up until like 3 o'clock in the morning. Home Depot, I think I would do in the morning time, um, from like 8 to 5 or something like that. Then I would leave Home Depot, and then I would go over to Sears in the mall, and I would work that job from like between 5.30 and 5.45 all the way to like, probably 10 p.m. and then I would leave Sears at 10 p.m. and then I would drive over to McDonald's and I would work McDonald's to like 10 30 to 3 o'clock in the morning. Yes your girl was busy at that time in her life and I remember I was working so hard and people that certain people that I was around at the time or staying with paying my way um, paying my rent um, but there with these certain people, um, they would always say things to me, negative things, talk about me. I didn't have the best clothes. I didn't look the best. You know, um, I didn't have money necessarily to take care of myself physically, like get my hair done and all that stuff. Cause my money was just been pouring out into bills, into rent and into my car note that I had at the time. But anyways, I remember they would just treat me so mean and um, call it tough love. Call it tough love. So 
you know, it just reminded me of that me a memory and not, not to, not to say that I'm mentally in that I'm not, I let that go, but it reminded me as I'm talking about tough love is because, um, sometimes we say and do things to people and we want to put the label up, label of tough love on it. And I just, I go against that because I think that if we really want to show someone tough love, um, you need to learn how to give them your support. Tough love means I support you. But right now, you have to make some hard decisions because I want to see you succeed. And so I'm going to remove myself from helping you 100% to helping you 50% of the time. So that way, that other 50%, you can kind of gauge and help yourself. That's tough love. You know what I mean? Tough love is saying that I got your back. I do. I got your back. I want to see you do well. But... You know, I don't want to see you fall flat on your face. I don't want to see you end up in this situation. And so I'm removing myself because of that. Um, you know, tough love should have a direct impact to your growth. To your growth. A direct impact to your growth. It should not attack your mental health. It should not attack who you are as a person. It should not make you, um, leave you... Um, feeling helpless. It should not tear your heart to shreds. It should not, you know, like an abusive relationship, beat the crap out of you and then bring you flowers the next morning. Tough love shouldn't do that. Okay. We beat up people mentally and emotionally. You just beat them up and you tear them down. Um, because they don't look the way that you think they should look, or they don't, um, appear as though, you should think they appear um, to be, or they're not doing what you think that they should do. And then we tear them down and we want to put labels on it like, this is tough love. Oh, I care about you. Well, you may care about the person, but I just want to let you know that that can really impact, that can impact a person's mental health and um, capacity to actually grow socially and want to connect with people. I'll tell you this thing, as I got older from just those experiences that I'm talking about with me, um, and this was like 15 years ago, right? Um, but when I talk about those experiences, literally, I feel um, that I have um, grown from them, I've learned from them, but I feel as though I don't have a need to be in constant communication with those people. I don't feel the need to connect with those people. You know what I mean? I just feel like moving forward, you know? And so, um, I encourage you out there, if you are watching this and you are experiencing the tough love that I'm talking about, that to really just sit down and just think about what you want to do with your life. Think about, um, how you want to change your situation and then just make moves to change it. Okay. You ain't got to tell everybody your business. Just make moves to change it because at the end of the day, you are responsible for you and can't nobody tell you nothing. Okay? Grown folks I'm talking about because I know young people, you still have an obligation to your parents to respect them, to love them, and do as they say. But if they treat you wrong, report them. But, um, yeah, I just, I, I just want to encourage you, you know, and then to the person who is... Um, you know, creating this atmosphere of tough love, um, and it's really affecting or impacting the young person in your life, or maybe the adult in your life in a not so good light, not so good way. Um, I want to encourage you to just really consider their emotions, consider their feelings, consider, um, what they have going on in their life and just, um, adjust accordingly and love them, but love them differently. Everybody is not to be treated the same way. You got to handle people a little bit different. I am an introvert. I am a thoroughbred introvert. Okay. Um, and so introverts, you got to treat us a little bit differently. I'm not saying, uh, coddle us or anything. I'm just saying we take in emotions. We hold that in our body. And so, um, I'm just going to need you guys to just, just figure it out, figure it out. 
But anyways, I'm going to do another video about being an introvert, okay? Because I think that that is so important. I don't know everything, but I think it's important to really discuss that topic as well. And so that's going to end today's video. I hope it wasn't all scattered everywhere. Um, but tough love, it's, it, it's tough. And mm, it can be impactful in different ways. Some good and some not so good. But anyways, that is the discussion for today's video. I thank you so much. We just hit our 10-minute mark. So let's go ahead and end this video. Thank you guys once again for joining me on my discussion discussions with you guys. Um, please go ahead and check out my book, which is behind me. It will be linked down below on my website. Use code YAY10. That's YAY10 for 10% off your purchase. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.